I think anyone can be a nurse, but to be a good one, yeah, you have to be a special person. My name is Ellerton McCullough. People know me as Mickey McCullough. And uh, I live in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Well, from a little girl, I used to do housekeeping and all of those different things, and folks saw in me something different. And I became a registered nurse in 1968. Taking care of kids and trying to work and doing chores at home, working and trying to go to school. It was quite a, a humongous task. We would play on the playground, and she would watch us from class. It's so nice to have your mom watch you while she's going to school, but it must have been hard on her because she had two jobs at the time. So school, kids, and a job. So that's pretty tough. And she was young. I knew Mickey as an LPN, and I knew she was older, but she was wiser. Mickey's gift to me is making me feel special. She saw the good in me. I think people love Nurse so much because of her caring personality, her spirit. She's very serious, and she will let you know. But at the same time, um, just the, the welcome that she does, it's like she opens her heart when she's teaching you to make certain that you learn everything that there is to know. Her goal is for you to be successful at what you do, at being a nurse, because she's the nurse. After graduating from Winston-Salem State, I was the first African-American nursing supervisor, but I was head nurse in ICU intensive care. After that, I uh, became the first black uh, supervisor for the house. I did critical care. As a 19-year-old student, you know, I was very impressionable. So um, I saw Ms. McCullough as somebody that I wanted to be. You know, I wanted to be the strong, powerful African-American woman that I saw. For a 19-year-old, I couldn't imagine having half the knowledge that she has. But even still today, over 30 years later, I still look up to her and seek, you know, advice from Ms. McCullough. Being kept up to date in the new trends, that's important. We didn't have all of the monitors that we have today. How's everyone? Good, good, good. good. Prior to my starting, what questions, if any, do you have to ask? Was there any point where you felt like you couldn't go on or couldn't do it anymore, or felt like nursing just wasn't for you? I was steadfast in, in staying in nursing. I did not have the assistance that many of you all have today, but never did I stop in midstream. I continued on. Do not let anything stand in your way no matter what. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to finish, mm -hmm. and that's what you want to do. Mickey is an educator. Mickey is a great person. Mickey is a mom. Mickey is a grandmother. And Mickey is my sorority sister. She may be retiring, but she's leaving behind a legacy of great nurses who now teach, who are in administration, who are doing great things just because she was the foundational leader. proud of myself and all that. It's a lot of dedication. It takes a lot. We um, give up a lot to care for people the way that we do. I'm so proud of my grandmother because I do think that she's, you know, hit all these milestones and broke those boundaries and handing the torch to me and my cousin to, to now, 
you know, follow on her path. Winston-Salem State University presents a proclamation honoring Nurse Ellerton McCullough. I'm, I'm very proud that my grandmother has encouraged me to continue pursuing education and be an influence to other people in my own family the way that she has. She's very influential, and clearly to a lot of other students too. She's got a phenomenal impact on people and she doesn't even realize it. So I, that's awesome, I would love to be like her one day. <laughs> the greatest experience that I can give you is to uh, stick with it. Yes, it's difficult, but just hang in there and you will do well. Try and try again. <laughs>